Hi, Walter. I see we have a bucket on the table. What are we going to do today? Well, you know, there are a lot of people who simply do not have the space to garden. Okay, sure. And, you know, me being a person that like to kind of watch my money a little bit, <laughs> um, I was walking through a garden center one day, and I saw where you could have these, uh, you know, tomatoes already in a pot. Uh -huh. And they were getting like $17 for those things, wow. you know? Wow. So I said, well, wait a minute. Is somebody like me who got a bunch of old buckets sitting around the house <laughs> or whatever? <laughs> you just you plant my right. <laughs> So basically, uh, you know, what, what, what I did, I, I, I got my bucket. Okay. Now, you want to make sure, I really like to see you get a new bucket, though. Okay. Because, you know, if you're using something that used to, be, you know, have like petroleum products in it or some kind of chemical or mm -hmm. something, Very that might point. have some kind of residue do in there that you know may you know work against you okay so but basically what you know you know you know what I did I go and I get get my drill and and I and I drill some holes and okay. uh, these right here are uh, one inch holes but you can use half inch holes just whatever as far as long as water can drain out of okay it. so that's why you put the holes in the bottom right? yes okay. yes and I always follow that little step up Chris by putting me some landscape uh -huh. fabric just you know How about that? off in that you know just to cover that up a little bit uh, so that, uh, you know, we won't have a problem. And then I even add a few oh. rocks <laughs> in there. And uh, let me see, I won't make too much noise here, but uh, I put some of that in there just to hold that down and, and make sure everything is fine. You see what I'm saying? And it'll probably help with drainage as well. Oh, absolutely. It's going to help with the drainage. Right. And, and then uh, I begin to mix my soil. Ah, that now, looks good. Yes, what I did, I, I, I purchased some already made organic uh, soil, but I did add a little uh, calcium to it. Okay. I did put some lime in this. Okay. And all I simply do is just, you know, just pour some of that in there. Let me get it started before I dump it. But I add something else to this organic. I also add a little bit of cow manure, ah. you know, and when you live near a cattle farm like I do. <laughs> it's readily available. It's readily sure. available. <laughs> so I mix that in there too. And then, of course, I'm going to finish the rest of this okay. out. Now, you don't, you don't ever, ever just fill it all the way to the top. Okay. You get it right there. And uh, like I said, I added calcium to this. I put about a cup of calcium okay. in here. That's and then, stuff. of course, I'm going to, let me get just a tad okay. more. To get my right. So why are you doing that? Five mm -hmm. gallon, that's a pretty good size. Yeah, five for a gallon is a pretty good size because tomato plants, and, and look here, I want to talk a little bit about okay, that. Sure, sure. Uh, tomato plants, they're going to put down quite a bit long, a good long root okay. off in there. All right. Now, when you first get that, notice that these have good white uh, yes. You yes. Know, uh, yes. roots there. And another thing that I do when I, when I plant tomatoes, I do, I like to do what we call sucker them. So I cut off these little bottom mm -hmm. ones right here and let's see. And also uh, these plants here that I got, um, you can you can use them. Uh, these were over on a rack. Now normally we say don't buy those. <laughs> on the discount rack? Yes, but I noticed <laughs> that they were actually, it's just when it hadn't been watered. Okay. So, you know, I saved some money So you can there. save them. All right. And then, so I, I tear those little roots apart to kind of... You tease the roots yeah, a little bit. Yeah, just tease right. them a little bit. <laughs> and there we go. And we can set that off in there. Let me get that more in the middle. And then from there, you just add I more. just add more around. And um, and let me tell you, you're going to have some good tomatoes here. This this variety here is early girl. It's a, oh, yeah. it's a it's real a nice one. variety to use. And... Uh, Yes, there you go. That's this here will do wonders, and I even get all up around there a little more. Okay. Um, now this will apply for more than just tomatoes, uh, right? I absolutely. mean, there's other vegetables you can put in there. As yes, well? as a matter of fact, um, you can put like one tomato plant in a bucket, uh, but you can put two pepper plants. Okay. And one, you can also put maybe like uh, one uh, cucumber plant. Uh, squash uh, plant, you can put one of those in there. Okay. I'm talking about in, in its own bucket. Sure. And, uh, and hey, they'll grow fine. Now, now one of the things about growing them in the bucket also, you can start them out early. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can get, get, so you can get out there earlier. Another thing is you don't have to worry about weed control because you're uh, pretty yeah. much yeah. controlling that. That's now, 
I'm going to tell you, if a pig weed or something comes in there, you put it in there. Right. Uh, <laughs> it didn't come in there naturally. Um, and another thing that, uh, you know, you can move it around uh, if yeah, you need to. You know, you can have a little about. flexibility okay. with okay. that. Uh, and it's just all kind of benefits to, you know, to growing in a bucket. And trust me, it does not cost you $17, right. which right. is always a good thing. Right. That's a good uh, thing. But, but once again, I do want to emphasize do not use an old petroleum bucket or something like that. That, you know, if you see something like, uh, you know, you know, lubrication fluid or something on the bucket, don't use that. Okay. Uh, you know, but really just get your new bucket. And let's uh, talk again about the different soils you can use. Now, you, you actually put in manure. Why did you put it in manure? Well, you know, because I wanted to raise these kind of organically, okay. Okay. and that's going to be a good source, you know, for my fertilization okay. and, and nitrogen and all that that you get with the uh, with the manure and all of that. So. Uh, that's why uh, I, I use that. Okay. Uh, and again, once again, you know, we do have people like to know where their food comes from, sure. how it's sure. grown. Sure. What better way than growing in a bucket? That's right. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I highly recommend uh, people who live in apartment complexes ah, that have you know, point. just those little ledges. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is an ideal mm -hmm. way to garden. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it, it, it just works perfect. Right, and I was once in an apartment, so yeah, that does work. Yes, I did yes. That as well. And yeah. also, uh, I didn't bring any with me, but I would also put some mulch on top mm -hmm. of this because when you water it, that would help this stay, you know, moist and stuff uh, as well as hold that moisture in there because, you know, here in the Mid-South, whoo, once that, you know, uh, June, July heat hit. Yeah, it, it'll uh, dry know, out pretty quick. So let's talk about watering. How much would you water? Oh, uh, uh, well, basically, I would keep this, I would try to give it like maybe an, an inch a week okay. is what I would look at, an inch and a half. But basically, just feel that soil. If it feels moist, you know, nice and moist, okay. you, you, you're fine. Now, we do not want to just saturate it with water. Sure. Because then we're going to mess around and get all that old photophora, root rot, and all this stuff developed in there. And you're kind of defeating your purpose. Right, right. Uh, so, you know, you just don't want to just just saturate it. But, you know, of course, it, with those holes in there, it shouldn't saturate. But, um, but otherwise, just keep it nice and moist about once a week, maybe twice a week. Mm -hmm. Go out there and just add a little water to it, just like you would water any other plant. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. And you made the point about moving it as well, because I had to do that when I lived in an apartment. Y yes. Make sure yes. you got enough sun. So yes, that's a good yes. thing about putting them in, you know, containers or five-gallon buckets. E exactly. Move you it to just, follow the sun. Right. Yeah, you can move it around. And also, you can get you one of those little cages, huh. that, and they, they'll work also. And that's what I would, you know, would do with this one. I won't do anything but just put that little cage in there right now, and it'll just grow right up into that little cage, and, and, and you'll be fine. Okay. Um, but like I said, you know, this this is just a to me, it's really a neat way to even get oh, kids yeah, to go. You agree. know, you know, a lot of times we see now that kids do not know where food comes right. from or whatever. And this would just really be a mm -hmm. nice way to teach some kids how to uh, you know, agree. garden where food comes from and, and how they can grow it's things. Something they could do at home. I oh, agree. Oh yes, I yes. Agree. And if you're looking for a good science project, there it That's is it. right there. Right. Um mm hmm well, good stuff, Walter. We appreciate that demo. Oh, okay. We're well, happy to bring right. it here. Now yes. we'll see how that does. Huh? Oh, okay. We're going to yes, yes. test you out. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll be slicing tomatoes before, before long. We'll All right. Be, yeah. Thank you much. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.